Hi, the title of this video is Troubleshooting J Console Connect to JMX. JMX, Java Management Extension, is a Java technology that allows you to monitor JVM and Jasper server activities in many useful ways. J Console and Visual VM are two very good, ready to use, out of the box Java remote management consoles that you can use for this purpose. There are plenty of articles already on the Jaspersoft community website on how to, to enable JMX as well as connecting to it. Unfortunately, you may not be able to connect to JMX at first try, even by following the procedures in these articles carefully. This video will try to help you troubleshoot why it may not be connecting for you. Let us take a look at this article that you can find on the Jaspersoft community website. According to this article, the very first thing that you need to do is to add a collection of options to set env.sh or set env.bat, depending on what operating system you are on, respectively. So now, suppose you have added these options correctly as described into set env. Let us start jconsole. Type in the IP and port number and see how it goes. Hmm, connection failed. First thing to check is if there are typos or mistakes when you added the options to set env. Suppose everything is correct in this file. In this case, we have to look elsewhere for the cause of the problem. One reason may be that you are running Tomcat as a service on a Windows machine and is using a different port number. Let us take a look at a bundle install of Jasper Server and see how it is set up. Let us go to Tomcat slash bin directory. For Tomcat 8, open the file named Jasper Reports Tomcat W. Click on the Java tab and scroll down the list of options. Surprised! The remote port is set to 8082 by default when you install the debundled version of Jasper Server. Let us try JConsole again with 8082 this time. Voila, there we have it. We are now connected to JMX. All right, let us go one step further and take a look at how to connect to JMX as an mbean server. Let us follow another article and do exactly as it says and see if it works. Suppose for this chat server server, will use 10990 as the diagnostic port. So, as directed by the instructions, we entered the connection string into jconsole. Hmm, failed again. Turn it out in this case, we assumed that the Jasper server is the default connection name, but that's not the case. If we look at the file js.diagnostic.properties, here is what it says. The name is actually release-jrs-pro. So let's try again. Aha, it works. So there we have it. Jasper server reports attributes exactly as expected. As you can see, you now have access to all the other information passed on by the JMX mbeans from Jasper server. If it is still not working for you, one possibility is that the diagnostic port in this example, 10.99.0, may be blocked due to firewall settings. How to control the port is operating system dependent. You should be able to look at the admin guide of the respective operating system and find out how to control the port accordingly. Or you can contact your IT administrator to check the ports for you. I hope this video is helpful in getting you get started with JConsole and JMX. Have fun with it. 